very interesting because using alcohol hmm. for an operation, yeah. and giving giving him a heart attack. Yeah. How risky it was, and it, was it this first kind of experiment you tried? Was it like it's been done? No, like uh, like we said, it has been done earlier, but it's not a very common procedure. This is done for a genetic uh, condition called as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Now, like I said, the heart, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the presentations are varied. Patients can have, majority of the patients can have a normal life without even knowing they have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Uh, and a percentage of patients come in with symptoms. Now, in patients who have symptoms, the, the, uh, the, the most, most common treatment is medical treatment. And majority of the patients on medical therapy of uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy do very well and don't require any intervention or surgery. Now, there is a small percentage of people who are not doing well on uh, medication. They are symptomatic despite the medication. And they have other risk factors and criteria which we look at. And if they fulfill that, the uh, scientific data favors surgical, uh, you know, myectomy as we call it, or reduction in, in the muscle mass. Now, some people, some patients are not fit enough for the surgery or some people choose not to undergo surgery. For such people comes in the alcohol septal ablation and the alcohol septal ablation, to do that, you should have a suitable anatomy. There should be thickness in the, uh, in the appropriate areas and the blood supply to those thick muscle has to be anatomically, anatomically suitable for us to do this procedure. So, once you've gone through all these checklists, that's when you say that this patient is then, uh, you know, uh, is eligible for this procedure. And once you find an eligible patient uh, for this procedure, then you have to meticulously plan it because you are injecting absolute alcohol, which is highly toxic, directly toxic to the heart muscle, which causes heart attack and causes death of the heart muscle. So if you don't do it in a very well-planned, meticulous and well-controlled manner, and if this alcohol you know, penetrates into areas where you do not want it to penetrate, so you could lose the patient on table, the patient could have a massive heart attack and die on table. So, so what would be the cost of this? See, the, the absolute alcohol is available through, you know, uh, you know, through, through uh, you know, it's, it's a chemical that is available, not very expensive to procure. It needs to be sterilized. So the cost is of any other, like, like an angiogram, angioplasty procedure. So, uh, you know, it varies between uh, 1.5 to about 2, 2.5 lakhs. Yeah, yeah.